the deadlock over their coal supplies. The Space Shuttle Challenger has set off on its rescue mission, the first satellite repair job in space. It'll take the crew of five, six days. The South African-born runner Zola Budd has been granted British citizenship. Now she could be chosen for the British team in the Los Angeles Olympics. And Sir Arthur Bomber Harris, who headed RAF Bomber Command during the war, has died. He was 91. Sue Lawley will be here with the 9 o'clock news. Thank you, Jan. Well, that's it for another week. It's also the last time that Beverly will be with us. She's leaving much to our regrets. And under the circumstances, I think maybe you, Beverly, should say goodbye. Yes, well, thank you for all the nice letters. Goodbye from me, and have a nice weekend. Later tonight, there's the second part of the special Midlands Tonight report on the state of industry in the West Midlands. It's presented by our industrial correspondent, Peter Colborne. They used to call the West Midlands the workshop of the world. Now there are those who call it a wasteland. The 80s have seen dozens of factories demolished, famous names removed from the industrial landscape. Robots have replaced workers on the Longbridge track, Thousands of jobs have gone, and there's little sign of them coming back in the near future. I think if the Midlands does not get involved deeply in electronics over the next 12 months and two years, then the opportunity will have been missed for a generation. Industrial correspondent Peter Colborne looks beyond the recession in the second part of his special report on industry in the West Midlands in Midlands tonight at 10.15. Earlier at 9.25, the Starsky and Hutch, and the late film at 10.50 is The Trials of Oscar Wilde, starring Peter Finch and John Fraser. Programmes later tonight on One. And now comedy with The Pink Panther. <laughs>